Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be revamping these resin coasters. I made these coasters previously on my channel and they were pretty, but I just wasn't really loving how they turned out. And this coaster here is just glitter and clear resin. Um, the top or the bottom side of this one right here with the glitter has an etched design, but I ended up with a lot of bubbles. So what I did was flip it over and I'm going to use the back side um, and do a layer of resin art along with these other four coasters today. So what I did with these was I taped the back of them. I have them raised up off my table on some spray paint can lids and I always use wax paper to project my table. I added one ounce of clear. I'm using the Total Boat Tabletop epoxy for these and I'm just spreading that out. I'm going to go in with my heat gun to kind of warm up the resin and pop bubbles. And I did mix up my resin off camera, but if you're new to resin and you want to see a tutorial showing step-by-step -step how I mix my resin, um, I will link my snowflake ornament tutorial down below in the description box. Be sure to go check it out. I show you step-by-step -step how to mix your resin. So now I'm going to go in with some alcohol inks from Dryer Days Art Studio. I'm going to use Vivid Pink, Vivid Purple, and Prussian Blue. And I'm just dropping some inks down on the surface of each of these, right on top of that clear layer that we laid down. And then I'm going to go in with some Blue Interference Mica Powder from Laura's Art Corner. It's a really gorgeous pigment and it pairs really nicely with that Prussian Blue alcohol ink. So I'm just going to add a little swirl and just kind of go around the rim of each of these. This is so super simple and easy to do, and it's a great way to kind of revamp um, coasters that you're just not loving. Um, these ones turned out super pretty, and um, you'll see that here in a few minutes. I'll show you how they turned out. And I love doing this technique. I just feel like this color combination is just so perfect together. I'm going to go in with some Mayron Gold. This is a gold powder. And I'm just adding a little bit. You don't want to go crazy with this because it will take over. So you can see I'm just adding a few accent lines. And on a few of these, I'm going to do a bigger dollop like this one here. See, I did a little bit of a bigger dollop and then just some fine lines. Just don't add too much. You can always add more if you want to um, after you heat it up and blend everything together, but it's really hard to take it away. So just keep that in mind if you guys try this pigment out. Um, you can get it off Amazon. I'll link it down below. I'll link all the materials I'm using down below in the description box along with any coupon codes that I have. So if you guys want to get any of these products to try, it'll give you a little bit of extra savings. Now I'm going in with my heat gun on high, just going over each of the pieces to kind of warm up the resin before I go in and really blend everything together. And I'm not going crazy with the heat, just adding this much heat, blending that gold, just kind of moving that gold around, and that's it. You don't want to overdo it on the heat. As the resin dries and self-levels, you'll get some really, really beautiful cells and lacing. So here's how they're looking with the wet finish. I know they're not like super impressive right now, but just wait after they dry, they turned out absolutely gorgeous. But you can see that gold is starting to kind of float up to the top, starting to kind of give some cells on there. Just, I know it's hard to leave it, but just only add a little bit of heat, let it dry, and you'll end up with some really gorgeous coasters. So here's how they turned out. Um, I know it's kind of random to have a set of five coasters, um, so I think I'm going to list the, um, the one that was done on the glitter base individually in my Etsy shop, and then the set of four coasters. So I'll have all these listed in my Etsy shop if anyone wants to purchase these. Um, before I pulled the tape off the back, I did do a clear resin top coat. And um, that's just to kind of protect that gold because like it, it, like I said, it is a floating pigment. So if you guys um, did gift these or sell them and someone was really rough with, rough with them, that gold could scratch and come off. 
Um, I've never had that happen to me personally, but I have heard people say that it's happened. So it's always good to do a clear resin top coat. So I just went in and did a clear resin top coat on all of them off camera um, before I pulled the tape off the back. But I think they turned out so pretty. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I hope you give this a try. I just wanted to share this video with you guys to kind of um, show you a good way to redo the coasters that you make that just don't turn out. Um, and like I said, I'll link all the materials I used down below in the description box if you guys want to get any of these products to try. And if you don't know how to get to the description box, just look at the title of the video and off to the right there will be a down arrow. It almost looks like a V. Click that and it'll open up the description box. And down there you'll find my Etsy shop if you want to go check out um, some of the projects I've made on my channel that I have available for purchase. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. That really helps out my channel a lot. And go check out a few more of my other videos. It really helps out my channel if you watch a few of my videos back to back. Um, I've done a few other videos like this on my channel previously, and I'll link those down below in the description box as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're all doing fantastic, and I will see you guys soon for another video. Bye, guys.